Once you've customized your user interface, you'll want to save those changes to a file so that they'll be available the next time you launch the program. Go to the Customize menu and save a custom UI scheme. I recommend saving it as Viz Start UI. Replace the existing file. And notice that this is different than saving a file in the Customize User Interface dialog box. The UI file is a superset of all of the individual customization files that you can save from that dialog box. So the UI file that we're saving now has it all. You can check and uncheck any of these options as you see fit. I'll click OK to save the UI file. And now that I'm satisfied with my user interface, I'll also go back up here and lock the UI layout. Finally, I'll show you the custom UI and default switcher. This contains more than the UI. It contains defaults as well that affect the tools that you're working with. So over on the right hand side, you can choose from the UI files that have been saved to disk. But on the left hand side, you can choose from these different tool options. These actually alter your lights and rendering settings and so on. There's a lot of information in here that you can read about in this web page. DesignViz.MentalRay should obviously only be used with the Mental Ray renderer. So for our purposes, let's use DesignViz and the Viz Start UI scheme that we just saved. Notice it says down here that it's a non-standard UI scheme. You can right click and go to properties and this will tell you where this web page is stored on your hard drive so that you can customize it if you like. And this might be appropriate if you're working with a team. I'll click set. These changes are made and they won't take effect until the next time I restart Viz.